Okay, I'm not gonna make you take your shirt off, but take your jacket off for just a second. Okay, do you look like you're in charge? No, why'd you look away when I asked you? Why are we all so freaking lost? It's like, it's never enough. I'm an addict addicted to being savage. My life is a little graphic, like HBO making magic. I'm rapping to make that passive money coming from traffic to win mental gymnastics. It's not about the money you make. It's about the way that you educate people to live a better life. The way that, look, when you're around people, you're like, dude, listen to me, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you're around me, you're gonna make money. I'm gonna teach you to make money because that's my job. But I'm gonna teach you human excellence. I'm gonna teach you how to be a good person. I'm gonna teach you how to go home and be good to your family. I'm gonna teach you how to be good to your kids. I'm gonna teach you how to get in shape and be healthy. I'm gonna teach you how to talk to people. I'm gonna teach you to communicate. I'm going to mentor you, okay? I'm not gonna be there with you just when it's good. When it's hard, I got you. I want to be there when it's hard too, okay? Listen to me. I know, I know what I'm after. I'm after changing people's lives. Not just my clients, okay? But also my team. That's what makes me happy. So if you're on my team, I'm going to make you better. Every day I'm going to push you. I'm going to positively peer pressure you to become a better person. I'm going to positively peer pressure you to work harder. I'm going to positively peer pressure you to become more financially independent. I'm going to peer pressure you to quit hanging out with the losers and hang out with winners. Okay, I'm going to try to raise my standard every day and I want to try to be a good example for you to raise your standard every day. This is leadership. By the way, I better write this down. Core values. You can't be a good leader if you don't know what your core values are. It's physically impossible. Okay, what are your core values? My core values? Mm -hmm. Just, and hey, listen, a lot of you, I'm not, listen, I'm, I'm going to communicate with you guys. Is that cool? No, I like that. By, I like by the way, we're all family. Did everybody get that? Sure. Yeah, like, like, I don't know you. But like, you're here with me, so like now we're family. I don't need to know you, listen to me. You're no better than me, I'm no better than you. I, I could have a trillion dollars, you could have zero, who gives a f Okay, where are we going? We're going to dominate and take over the world. Where are we going? We're going to annihilate this industry. Does that make sense? How are we gonna do it? People, whoever's got the best people wins. It's called human capital, okay? You got marketing, I don't give a shit. You got inventory, who cares? It's called human capital. Where's your money? Your money's in your people. And by the way, some of you in here, you're, you're pretty screwed up, okay? You're broken people. You've had a crazy ass life. That's why you're qualified to do this. You're qualified to run a bad ass team. And I mean it. I'm not playing, dude. Listen, hey, I broke every freaking rule. I did all this. I didn't pay attention. I didn't follow rules. And that's why I'm successful now as an entrepreneur, okay? Entrepreneurship, which is what you guys are in leadership, are made for people that don't follow the rules. Okay, they're always trying to go against the grain, but one day they mature, you know? And until you guys mature and you get past your own self, because listen, and by the way, today, honestly, these next couple hours are about recreating a new identity for yourself. Okay, I don't care what you look like in your suit. I don't give a f how that is. I care about inside, like who are you? Who do you see yourself as you are? When no one's around, and I mean no one, like what do you think about you? Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. That person, that's the person that's gonna go take over the world. Because by the way, at the end of the day, none of you guys need a babysitter, okay? But a lot of you guys need to be babysat because some days you're hot and some days you're not. Winners win every day. Winners are relentless. Winners know in order to become a winner, you must stack undeniable proof that I am a winner. So every day you're searching for new, for new proof. Does that make sense? I want you to understand, everybody write this down, never get satisfied. Yep, yep, forever hungry. But I, I wanna teach you guys to do it in every area of life because listen to me, if you can make me money. Okay, rule number one, everybody write this down. Do not train people to work for us for money. 
when you train people to make money, to get hungry to make money, when you train people that way, what happens is they're with you because of what? Money. And then if somebody comes along and they got a better opportunity that has more money, will they leave you? Because you trained them for money. Okay, but watch, but how are, but see, who trained them on what loyalty is? See, all of you in here, I need you to understand something. Okay, tell me which one you guys would rather go with, okay? I say, hey, listen, you wanna make a lot of money? You wanna make a lot of money? Come with me, I'll show you how to make a lot of money. And maybe I do. Aaron, come here real quick. Maybe you do make a lot of money, does that make sense? And then one day, there's some other cat that goes, dude, you're slinging these tablets, talking to these broken people, running this stuff. Dude, that's ghetto, dude. I can pay you more money. Hey, this is Aaron, guys. But listen, I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I brought Aaron up here, right? Okay, so number one, when, when you're the greatest, I told you guys every day you're looking for proof. For proof that you are a winner. Does that make sense? And by the way, when you're the best, there's things where like, even though you start to succeed, you're like, dude, I got so far, man. You ever see people that start getting a little bit of wins and then all of a sudden they think they're the best, they think they got it made. Dude, you're done, you're smoked, you're gonna get taken out. That's how people get taken out, that's how they get comfortable. You can never get comfortable. Okay, I'm not gonna make you take your shirt off, but take your jacket off for just a second. Okay, you see this guy? Is he a big guy? He's a big guy. Aaron thinks he's fat. Aaron, Aaron thinks he's skinny. He really does, do you feel skinny? I, yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's another level that I'm not, that I haven't reached yet that I wanna get back to. Aaron feels disgusting. Aaron will walk in, he goes, I feel disgusting. And I'm like, Aaron, you have an eight pack, bro. And he's like, I feel disgusting. His standard is so high that when he, see, see average people got you tricked. See, once you got your, your car, once you got your little level up, whatever that is, then you're good because you start doing what average people are doing. You guys need to understand this. This guy, and I'm gonna give you an example. Am I tan right now? Yeah. Pretty tan, right? I feel pale white. <laughs> I was telling Aaron this morning, I go, dude, I, I, I just got back from Mexico, right? But I go, God, man, I feel pale white, bro. Like I got, he's like, dude, you look so dark. And I'm like, dude, your arms look jacked. He's like, dude, I feel so skinny. And I'm like, why are we all so freaking lost? It's like, it's never enough. Does that make sense? We're good, Aaron, you can rock and roll, go finish. I wanted, I wanted to explain, Aaron, this is here, right? Hey, by the way, your presence, when you walk into a room, your posture, the way you talk, the way you lead, the way you look, look, your eyes, like your eyes, when I see them, are they a little bit sleepy? Okay, do you look laser focused? Do you look like you run a company when I look into your eyes? I don't need to, you don't need to tell me nothing. Can I look into your eyes and do I look like you're in charge? Okay, do you look like you're in charge? No, why'd you look away when I asked you? There you go, he goes, uh, yeah, see, stop. Yeah, of course I'm in charge. I wouldn't have asked you if I'd have thought you were in charge. Okay? I want you to understand this world out here, it's easy to fucking win right now. 18 years old, in an event, they said, stand up if you're proud of what you do. I was the only dude that stood up in the room. Okay? I want to tell you guys something. How much money can you make in your industry? Do some big math. No, 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 don't do the baby bitch ass math. Who believes in God in here? Raise your hand. Is he a big God or a little tiny one? Okay, quit being disrespectful and thinking tiny then. And I mean it, so I want you to understand something. Listen, I remember this, okay? And all of you in this room right now, every one of you, all of you, this is where we humble down and we reset who we are. All you guys ever asked for was your way out. You give me an opportunity, listen. See, once you get open-minded, everybody write that down, be open-minded. Because some of you right now, what you have in mind for you isn't what God has in mind for you. So you're like, oh, I wanna be a realtor. Dude, you would be a broke ass realtor. You're, you're, you know, you're really doing something that makes a difference. You're really doing something that can max out your financial success. You're really doing something that's great right now, but you're never really where you are. You're here right now, but you got a plan B two years from now. You're like, oh, I'm gonna go be a realtor. This is just part time. That's the reason why you're getting your ass kicked. That's the reason why you're not winning at the level you should win. Kobe Bryant didn't say, well, I'm gonna do this and then go do something else. He said, I'm gonna play basketball, I'm gonna become the greatest basketball player in the world, and that's what I'm gonna do. He's no different than you. He's a human being, he's a real person, you can be the same as him. I'm doing the same shit he did, and I'm, I'm wiping fools out. I'm killing them. 
And that's what I want you guys to do. And by the way, you know what's cool? Even more attractive, how, how am I doing it? I'm doing it because I have a team. And that's what I want to see you guys. That's, you know why you guys are here, right? You're not here because there's some guy that's going to motivate you. They would have played YouTube videos back home. And everybody could save this whole trip out here. I have a team. You guys met him upstairs. That team operates like that 24-7, 365. That team, all we do is, listen, is we be direct with each other. Some of you in here, if I was to like say something about you, you'd be like, oh, I don't like this guy. You guys have to be direct with each other. You have to tell each other the truth. You have to tell each other when you're slipping. And, and you got to be open-minded to be like, dude, this person, listen, if you're out of shape, right? Do you play sports? Yeah. Okay, cool. Are you in better shape now than you were when you played sports? No. Okay, if you were in the shape you were when you played sports, would your production be higher? I believe so, yes. Hell yeah, it would be. About five times as high. Could you go back to that? Yes. Did you feel great when you were that? I feel awesome. Yeah, so, so I would, I'm going to tell you what I would do if he was around me. I'd pressure his ass every day. I wouldn't let him eat anything that was shitty. I'd make him work out. I'd be making him tag me in a gym and workout post. I would push his ass. I would remind him every day who he is in a world that's okay with him just being who he is. And even inside, he may say, I'm, not, I'm a grown man. I ain't going to let anybody tell me nothing. That's all bullshit. Okay? Everybody needs a coach. And the Bible says iron sharpens iron. You're missing the point. The devil, how he kills all you guys is he separates you and isolates you and puts pride on you. That's how he separates all you. All you guys, that's how he wins. He gets your ego so big to say, man, I don't have to listen to this guy. Good. Now you're alone. Now he isolates you. When you get isolated, you're easy to pick off. You feel me? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.